it's better than love. And uh, I'm a fan. And we've tried to set this up a couple of times, so I'm glad you finally made it. And I'm sorry that it had to be in the coldest part of the year so far. Um, but yeah. you're here There's now. been worse. Why don't you guys uh, introduce yourselves, who are you, and what you do for the band? I'm Ken, so I'm the lead singer of the band. Uh, I'm Josh, guitar player. Guitar player, with the guitar in his hands. I'm Arthur, I'm the drummer. I'm Caleb, I'm the guitar player. Other guitar player. I'm Tyler Evans, and I play bass. Yeah. And then we have a gentleman sitting back there silently. We have two gentlemen. We have yep. uh, Jason, Jason Paul Zorbert Zorbert. <laughs> and Garrett Cahill. They are two dedicated Philpot fans. Philpot fans? And they're road they're roadies. Dogs. They are road dogs. All right. Well, I have to appreciate that they'll come out and do this with you guys. Yep. Good guys. Very nice. We're tight in here, but uh, but we uh, we love to have the, the gentleman in the studio. And you guys... Uh, I have to say, we recently, the Fearless uh, Leadership, moved to Indiana, and as I'm driving through um, on Highway 12 to get back out to the bunker, is what we call it, um, Philpot signs all along, and I was like, I just got a CD from somebody named Philpot. What is, <laughs> what is the connection here? But you know this, you know this Philpot. You know this gentleman who's running for an office out there. Right, Thomas Philpot. Yeah. And at the time, he was running for. Uh, for mayor of Hammond, Indiana. Oh, okay. And when, whenever we decided to come up with a name for the band, we'd get like on Napster or whatever, and all these, I guess, clever names and everything were already taken. So I happened to be wearing a shirt that said Philpot for mayor, and we decided to call the band Philpot. So since then, he's came to a lot of our shows, and, and I don't think he's going to be able to make it to the double door, but uh, he comes uh, and checks us out quite a bit at the elbow room. You know how hard it is to find a good politician these days? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We're dual residents, you know. We have the we have the Chicago connection as well. So we we have we bear the the honor of having our president elect from here. We bear the shame of being called repeatedly on every news station in America, the most corrupt state and city in the United States. Is that true? Well, I like Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Bears, Sox yeah. fan, anyway. So yeah. Oh, good. Well. Sucks fan. Okay. I've been to Wrigley too, though. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we, we're in a mixed relationship here. Cubs, oh, Sox, she's Southside. You know, we 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 practice tolerance and just don't talk about it very much. But I understand, and that's you know what Bears fan. We appreciate that because I know you got your own team over there. Yep. No, I, I think I'm the only Colts fan. Of the band. Colts. I support the Colts too, but I've always been a Bears fan. So yeah. I am amazed at the Mannings because think of it: when in the history of football has there not been a Manning? Has there? Well, <laughs> they have two children, and actually there are three because I think the yes. older brother is yes. also a quarterback, but he suffered an injury. But from the same family to have two quarterbacks, the hardest job in 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 any football, you know, to get, and to have two Super Bowl Back-to-back -back rings. I know. Isn't that amazing? The stars are with that family. Yeah. They really are. So. And uh, and just the cutest commercials you've ever want to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typical brothers. Typical brothers. Do we have any brothers in Philpot here? Nope. No. No. We no. are no relation. We hang. We hang around one another. All, all of us hang around. <laughs> we might as well, we might as well be. be brothers. Yeah. We all grew up around one Just another. Just brothers so. by another mother. That's and, right. And you grew up in, in Duggar, Indiana. Did you grow up there? Well, I did, and and Caleb did. and Josh did. But yeah. Tyler's from Linton, and Arthur's from Sullivan. But we're all from Sullivan and Greene County. Mm -hmm. Arthur's from Duggar now too, though. Nice. <laughs> well, I'm a small town girl from way back, so I understand this. I had a thousand people in my town. We had twenty-eight people in our graduating class, so I understand where you're coming from. Right. <laughs> and then, yeah. I and think I had thirty-one and only twenty-eight made it. <laughs> there was twenty-two. Yeah. I had twenty-two yeah. in my class, in my graduating class, I believe. Wow. Yeah, wow. Something like that. It, you know what? It makes for a nice, sweet, short graduation ceremony. Oh, sure yeah. does. Yeah. It yeah. sure does. So, how hard is it to keep together? I mean, there's a lot of there's a Phil Potts, a large band. And you spend so much time together. You're going out, uh, playing all around the Midwest, and uh, probably spending a lot of time close knit in the van. Mm -hmm. and yeah. What's the most difficult thing about kind of keeping it together and keeping the disagreements down and working together? 
There's not no, really, really, really any disagreements. I mean, we're not perfect, but we don't we don't argue about anything real major. Most of the time, it's something stupid like "get your foot off my shoulder, I'm trying to sleep." Yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. Usually, as soon, as soon as we get off the road, we're hanging out again. You know. Yeah, we it might take a day off forward. to sleep. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I've noticed bands have like the two separate paths that way. Some of them, when they get home, they spend one day with their, you know, their family, their laundry, they're paying their bills, and get right back together and hang out wherever they are. And some of them say the most important thing is to spend that time apart, like not see each other for a little while. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but you you guys enjoy what do you what do you do in Duggar for fun? Uh, well, basically <laughs> party and write songs and practice. <laughs> Man, uh, we don't practice as much as we used to. We do practice, but we play so much. Normally, if we're going to add a new song, we might try it during a sound check or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's about really the only time that we practice if we're going to add a new song. But we're we're always together and we're always writing. Mm -hmm. So that's what really keeps us busy. And I have a lot of fun doing that. So we're just, I don't know, messing around. We like to have a few beers, shots of whiskey or whatever, and start laying down the, <laughs> laying down the tunes. That <laughs> might be what keeps us so calm is the bourbon. It's yep, the bourbon? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see. Because I remember uh, sex and booze being a huge part of small town life. Yeah. And as yeah. we were talking about outside, you know, good, a uh, good pig roast in the yeah. summertime and things like that. <laughs> Bonfires yep. and things like that. <laughs> Fires, <laughs> booze equals fun. That's Lots of party. And you got to build that bonfire up, see what will burn. Yeah. That we used to play that game all the time. Will this burn? <laughs> yeah, will this chair burn? This, <laughs> this recline or see, whatever. I knew we'd get uh -huh. along. <laughs> Through the course of a bottle in the night, it becomes who will burn because you get the daring, <laughs> the daring person that says, you know, I can kick that fire around. Uh -huh. Well, you all, you all look like you, uh, you, you know, you bear no burn scars, at least no. visible ones. But if you're kicking the fire, you know. We're the small well, ones. Well, we don't do the kicking. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, I'd love to spin a track off the CD, come back and talk a little bit more. So the way we do this is uh, you say and I play. So what, uh, which track would you like to spin first for the listeners out there? Uh, let's play uh, Evil Has a Face. Okay, Evil Has a Face, and that is number three, if I'm reading this correctly. And you're listening to New Music Binge. This is Philpot, Evil Has a Face. <laughs> 